Hey guys, this is Paul from WMR for Racing Development in Stewart, Florida. I want to help you understand the type of fuel injection system that your motorcycle has. These bikes behind me visually look the same, but they're not. They have each an individual fuel injection system that makes it unique and different from each other. We have different types of ECUs, different types of throttle bodies, and different types of fuel injection systems which we will go into more detail in the remainder of the video. And this is how you would recognize the type of ECU that your motorcycle has. First one right here is a TPI style. This is used on motorcycles that have transfer port injection. This ECU is easily recognizable because it has an all metal body, front and back, and you see this kind of cooling fin. This next ECU is used on our TBI style motorcycle which stands for throttle body injection. This ECU is easily recognizable because it has an all metal body, front and back, but it differs from the TPI because it has an all smooth body. Our next ECU is used on our four stroke motorcycles. This is made by Keen and it's easily recognizable because it's all black composite made. This type of ECU is used on our current four stroke fuel injected motorcycle. It is very important to know the type of fuel injection system and throttle body that your motorcycle has. This is a typical TBI throttle body style. This type of throttle body is used on our current motocross, two-stroke, motocross, four-stroke, and off-road motorcycles. This TBI system has two knobs. This will be your recognizing points right here. Your red knob is your idle screw. Your yellow knob is your fast idle screw or starter and richer valve. Your red knob turns clockwise and counterclockwise to adjust the idle. Your yellow knob turns clockwise or counterclockwise to adjust how much fast idle your motorcycle is going to have when this is activated. That's activated. When you start the motorcycle, it's going to go into a fast idle. Once your bike reaches a certain temperature, you can roll the throttle forward and this will snap out and it will go back to a regular idle. It is very important that this yellow knob is not tampered with after it's set from the factory or set from the dealer because this will affect your throttle position sensor positioning. This sensor, TPS or throttle position sensor, tells your computer or ECU the percentage of throttle opening into a voltage value. This next style throttle body is used on your TPI motorcycle. This type of throttle body is easily recognizable because you're going to have one single knob on one side of the throttle body. This is your fast idle knob. You have to pull it out, twist it about halfway, and it'll lock it in place. This will allow the motorcycle to have a fast idle and to breathe when the bike is warming up after you initially started when it's cold. After the bike has reached an operating temperature, you will have to manually release by twisting it halfway. You also have a throttle position sensor on the left hand side and another important feature of this throttle body is this oil injection port right here. This is what's going to allow two stroke injection oil to drip into the fuel and air charge that's rushing into the combustion chamber. And this is going to help you decide what type of throttle body your motorcycle has, what type of fuel injection system it has, and what type of ECU you have. And there you have it. Now you can understand the differences between the fuel injection systems, throttle bodies, and ECUs on your KTM, Husqvarna, and Gas Gas model motorcycles. If you guys need more information, please give us a call or go to WR1.com. Thank you for watching.